Ketter at Coach.com, suturing the IOL to the cap's retention ring, and that's to provide additional rotational stability for a toric multifocal lens. And our guest surgeon here is Dr. Val Apostolov from Amsterdam in the Netherlands, and I learn a lot from his videos. So here's a case of a patient with a traumatic cataract, some weaker zonular support, and you can see the capsule retention ring is going inside the eye. There's the toric multifocal lens in the capsule bag with one haptic sticking outside the incision. So now the CTR is partially placed inside the eye. And the idea here is something that I'd never seen before, never even heard of, which is suturing the haptic of the lens to the capsule retention ring. So you can see that the uh, Tenno proline needle there is used to uh, encircle that haptic and get it around that capsule retention ring. Knot's gonna be nicely cinched down. And this patient's gonna have great rotational stability then. Remember the CTR has that outward pressure towards the lens capsular bag equator. Right, an average CTR, we have a diameter outside the eye of 12, 13 millimeters, even more. And the capsular bag is usually about nine millimeters or 10 millimeters in diameter at most. And so that's going to be an additional outward spring force. So dialing it in very carefully here, and you can see the IOL haptic plus CTR combined together. And then that can be gently placed in the caps or bag using that Sinsky hook to manipulate things and get it just positioned so. And then the toric axis will be lined up. So this was a neat technique. Quick video, something interesting that I hadn't seen before. And I want to thank Dr. Poslov for sharing it with us. Hope you enjoyed and maybe you'll try this in the future. I know you love the YouTube videos, but check out the website, cataractcoach.com. A lot easier to navigate. We have a complete list of articles and videos. You can go and check on any of these categories and explore more. You can also search. There's a search engine that's really effective. You can see Gore-Tex lenses like this. And finally, you can look up about me. There's a link that has my surgical instruments. Now you don't even have to ask me. You can just find out for yourself what's the name of those forceps.